Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can crack softwares by using reverse engineering techniques. So since this is the very first video related to this topic, I am going to keep this video very simple so that we all can understand what is happening. Before that, if you are a bug bounty hunter or a cyber security re researcher or a web developer, then I recommend you to please check out our websites where we have awesome contents related to web development as well as cyber security. And we have some awesome labs for those who are interested in bug bounties which are rela related to account takeovers where we have right now 5 labs which will help you to increase your bug bounty skills and which will also help you to increase your account takeover skills. So do check them out and let's get started for this video. So first of all let us create a very simple program that we will hack later on in this video. So I'm just going to create a simple program. Let me open my PowerShell window over here and let me write a simple program crack.cpp So as you can see, this is the simple program that we have written. So in which uh, the user need to provide a password and if the password equals to Fayaz, then the user will see something like this on his terminal like welcome admin. And if the password is wrong and the, if this password supplied by the input user is not equals to Fayaz, then the user will see wrong password, right? So let me compile this real quick. So as you can see, the program has compiled successfully. Now let me clear this and let us try to test our program. So let me run this program. So as you can see, it is asking me for a password. If I type any random password, let's say Batman, let me hit enter and, and as you can see, it is showing me wrong password as we have did here. Now let's try to provide the right password, which was Fayaz, right? with at the rate symbol f at the rate i y z hit enter and as you can see it is showing me the welcome admin so now our goal is to crack this particular software so even if we provide a wrong password then still it is going to show welcome admin so let us see how we can do that and for that we have to install a software in our machine which is x96 dbg and the link is given down in the description so you can download it from there and now let me open it. We have to double click on it and we have to select this x64 debugger since this is a uh, 64-bit software and in modern uh, cases we usually have 64-bit software right so most of the time you need to six click on this. Now let's wait for a few seconds and this is the interface. You don't need to worry about anything we just need to open the file from here. So in, at the desktop, we have this file. Let's wait for a few seconds. And as you can see, the program has started in the background and here we have the assembly code. So any code that you write in high level language or low level language will eventually be converted into assembly language and then into binary language so that the computer can understand because we know that computer can only understand 0 and 1 right so let me show you so this code is the assembly code of the code that we have written over here so let me show you so if i click on this which means run then the program will start executing so as you can see the program is executing if I type again, if I press again this and this, as you can see, we are currently on this line of instruction 
and here it is asking me to enter the password right and if I supply my password let's say Batman then we know what will happen right the program get executed and the debugging gets stopped so we know that when we supply a wrong password we will get a message similar to this wrong password right so let me try to run this again run this program again basically so I'm going to run this again let's wait for a few seconds and now I'm going to right click and I'm going to search for this particular string which is the wrong password right so let me search this so as you can see we successfully got the string and when I double click on this we will be redirected to that instruction line where this wrong password is printed right so now as you can see here we have the code here we have the valid credential as you can see f at the rate i y is z and here we have the uh, message enter password to continue right so let us try to see what happens so i'm just going to add a breakpoint on all of these uh, instructions so that we can analyze this program with more clarity so so on this particular line we have a test uh, keyword right which means that the comparison between the uh, user supplied input and the right password is maybe going somewhere around this line right so i am going to just uh, add a breakpoint over here so you just need to click double click here sorry and we can just add a breakpoint like this that's it now if I execute the code let me show you we got the prompt and if I type my password batman hit enter and as you can see we have stopped over here right now if I try to uh, execute the code line by line so I'm going to step over and as you can see there is a jump jump equals to basically je stands for jump equals to where if this value is equals to 1 then it is going to jump as you can see in the zero flag we have this value set to 1 so it is going to jump to this line of code and here we can see that it is showing the wrong password so if i jump from here as you can see the code in the instruction pointer has jumped and we will see wrong password let me play this once again let's see so as you can see it is showing me the wrong password right so the wrong password is happening because of this jump so from here we can confirm that if the comparison equals to true on this line then it is not going to jump it is just going to show us this particular line right welcome admin but as we have seen if the password is wrong then it is going to take a jump right so and here as you can see it is showing the memory address so where it has to jump so as you can see the last number 6 to 1 and if you go over here so here it is jumping and as you can see the memory address is 6 to 1 right so it is taking a jump from there to here right so I think you you must have understood that how if and else is working in this particular case so if and else works uh, like the jump case as we have seen in this example right so in this code as you can see if the password equals to five hours then it is going to show welcome admin else it is going to show wrong password the same case is going over here so here is, it is comparing so this line of code this particular line if pass equals to Fayaz is going over here so if password equals to Fayaz then it is not going to jump and if the password equals to if not equals to Fayaz then it is going to jump to this line of code where it, it will show us wrong password right so what will happen if we try to modify this memory address instead of this the program should the program will have to jump over here so even if the password is wrong the program will not jump there instead it will jump over here then what will happen let us see so i'm just going to remove the breakpoint 
and now I'm just going to modify the memory address so we know welcome admin is at address 60c right so I'm just going to specify 60c over here. so we need to type space on that particular instruction and then we can just modify it now click on ok and let me close this and let me try to re reload this again and let me play this again it's going to take some time so as you can see it is showing loading command line so it is going to take some time let's wait so here we have the interface let's click on run run let's run this again and let's run this again and here I'm going to provide the wrong password so let's say spider-man we know spider-man is wrong password right I'm going to hit enter hit enter the program gets executed perfectly since the program has completed so it is going to close the program so we need to save this file in order to view what is happening behind the scenes so I'm just going to p click on patch file and oh, sorry let me just reload this again and let me see whether our work that we have done so far is saved here so I'm just going to see the string differences and here wrong password I'm going to double click on that and we know there's a jump and as you can see the jump was not saved because we have reloaded that program so we have to modify it once again so we need to jump this uh, program to here right welcome admin so I'm just going to specify this address 60C 0C and click on OK perfect now let us try to patch this file and I'm going to click on patch file and here I'm going to specify let's say cracked cracked.exe and let's save this and now we can close our debugger let me close this as well now let's try to execute that particular file crack.exe and let's see what happens so I'm going to type cracked.exe and as you can see it is asking me for a password to continue so if I provide my right password which was Fayaz right if I hit enter it is showing me welcome admin and what will you think will happen if I provided the wrong password now so let's count to three one two three let's see what will happen so I'm going to type Batman and hit enter and as you can see it is showing me welcome admin again right so we were successfully able to modify the code and we have simply uh, get rid of this particular if else from the assembly assembly program right so I hope you have understood that how we can crack a software using reverse engineering techniques if you like this video then please let me know in the comments so that I can create more videos related to reverse engineering and if you guys have any doubts and if you guys have any issues then please let me know as well thanks for watching